The CCP authorities claim that the CCP virus, COVID-19, commonly known as Wuhan virus, has been brought under control and ordered the resumption of work in various places and industries. People started to question whether the epidemic has really been brought under control. According to a report by China Securities Journal, the National Film Administration of the Communist Party of China suddenly issued a notice on the evening of the 27th requesting to stop all theatres' business temporarily. The specific duration will be notified later. Shortly after this, the Chinese Communist Party's Xinhua News Agency and other media also reported that the national theatres will stop resuming operations for the time being. It is understood that since March 21st, over 500 cinemas nationwide have resumed business. According to Cat's Eye Movie Data, 507 cinemas reopened the business on the 21st at the reopening rate of 4.47% and a box office revenue of RMB 31,000 on March 22nd. The national total of on-screen movies was about 415 and the national theatre's box office revenue throughout the day was only 41,400 yuan. The total revenue of box office among the country of the weekend was only 72,400 yuan, which was pretty dismal compared to the average box office income of 200 million per weekend day in the same month of 2019. Some people believe that during this bad economy, even if the state officials insist on continuing to resume work because of political needs, it is no, long, no longer worth it due to the potential loss, and the country can no longer afford it. Some people think that this is a good phenomenon. The Epoch Times quoted Zhu Xu, a political commentator, the notice issued by the National Film Administration of the Communist Party of China, which showed that the epidemic in China has not been controlled as the Chinese Communist Party official propaganda, otherwise it will not order to shut down the movie theatres that have already been opened. Zhu Xu believes, at present, all domestic industries are actively resuming work, especially as the film industry is going through the winter. If the epidemic was not bad, the movie theatre would not have to reclose or temporarily open business. In the report, VOA also questioned the CCP's claim that it had successfully contained the epidemic. The reporter questioned, given that China's movie theatres are not a place where foreigners or Chinese from foreign countries gather, why did the CCP authorities prohibit the opening of movie theatres and force those which had already opened to close again? Does the National Film Administration possess information about the epidemic which is different from the official propaganda? Since the Chinese Communist Party, virus broke out in China last December, the Chinese Communist Party has concealed information and declared missing propaganda, as the virus is preventable and controllable, and no obvious person-to-person -person infection transmission, which has led to tens of thousands of Chinese people in a false sense of security. Infection with the virus caused an outbreak in Wuhan, spreading throughout China and harming the world. As the virus spreads throughout the world, the Chinese Communist Party authorities claim to have cleared new cases. But on the 27th, a Wuhan citizen sent a message online saying that one of his cousins died the day before, because two days earlier, his cousin's neighbour returned from the cabin hospital, and his cousin was chatting to him. After that, he felt a cold and fever. Her 40-year-old cousin called in and said he was not feeling very well. One hour later, he died. On March 28th, the official website of the CCP National Health and Health Commission informed that mainland China added 54 newly confirmed cases of pneumonia in Wuhan, all of which were from people coming back from overseas.